You are tuned in to On Air with Chris Shanafel. Welcome back On Air with Chris Shanafel. And as we continue our 2019 NFL Draft Prospect Series, it is a pleasure to welcome onto the show uh, Rob Roll, the safety out of Villanova 2019 NFL Draft Prospect. If you guys remember, uh, we had Rob on the show prior to his senior season, and now things are officially wrapped up at Villanova for him. Uh, Rob, really do appreciate you taking some time tonight. Um, can you believe that your career is officially over at Villanova? Um, I mean, I guess I can believe it's over. You know, it feels like I was there forever, you know. Um, you know, having the season that we had, you know, this past season, it wasn't what we all expected. So, um, you know, things just didn't go as, as well as we wanted to. But um, I guess it is kind of sinking that it's over. You know, I, I, I'm very grateful for everything I had, the opportunity that I had at Villanova and the coaching staff and all the support that they've given me. But I'm also very excited to see, you know, what my future holds. Well, you, you said it, you know, it wasn't the season you guys expected to have as a team. But what about for you, Rob? I mean, uh, last year in 2017, uh, uh, four games in, you, you tear your ACL, um, your, your season is over. And, and you know, there, there was already some – some hype, some buzz around your name then when it came to uh, uh, possibilities of playing at the next level. Um, what was it like just for you to be back on the field, uh, playing football, being there with your team uh, when, when things, uh, when, when it all mattered the most? Um, it was exciting, you know, especially, you know, opening up the season at Temple. That was like a big anticipated game. You know, everyone, even my family and everyone from home was just really excited to see me back on the field. Um, you know, and going and going down there in that Mayor's, the Mayor's Cup and, you know, coming out with a victory and a, and a, a real good team win, um, it was just fun. You know, it was fun to get back out there, run around, um, playing fast, playing physical. So it was, it was just a fun time to get back out there. I, I think it made me appreciate the game a lot more. And, um, you know, for, for once it was, you know, not me sitting from the sideline and cheering my teammates on, but I was able to get back out there and just, you know, play carefree, not really worry about my knee or anything. So that was definitely fun. Um, in terms of starting the season off with a win like that over, over you know, a, a, a hard game versus Temple. But at the same time, the season, um, for me personally, uh, was kind of up and down. I battled some, some um, minor injuries back and forth for the first couple of weeks. So that was pretty frustrating, you know, like a high ankle sprain and some deep tissue uh, bruising and stuff like that. But So that was just a little bit frustrating to deal with. And then, um, but none, nonetheless, I think I still went out there and I just tried to, you know, stop putting so much pressure on myself and just try to let the game come to me and just go out there and have fun and, you know, try to can control what I can control. So that was, you know, something I thought that I tried to focus on more so than going out there and trying to get, get earned certain stats or, you know, get certain accolades. I was just trying to go out there and have fun and back to the basics and just, you know, find that love for the game that I missed so much for a year. Again, he's uh, the former FCS leader in interceptions with seven back in 2016. Rob Roll, safety out of Villanova. Um, Rob, when, when talking to NFL scouts, if somebody were to ask you to recommend just one game throughout your collegiate career to, to for them to go back and check out, which game would you suggest? Uh, my first, I would suggest probably my Towson game. It was the first, my first career interception. Um, it earned me all-conference all honors that week uh, back in 2016 because that was like the game that really, you know, propelled me onto the, onto the national spotlight, you know. Um, I had, I think, nine or ten tackles that game, which was a career high for me at the time, and then had the 100-yard pick six um, to finish up, like, in the late late stages of the game. But that was, I think, one of my more so um, altogether round games, you know, and they had they had a real physical back in Darius Victor, and, he, you know, he ran very hard every play, and you know, that was someone that I knew I had to, you know, bring bring my A game and make sure I, I you know, I brought that physicality and make sure I could wrap him up and tackle him one on one, which I which I did a couple of times, but also, you know, just doing what I do and could control things on the back end, which, you know, kinda of benefited and I got that hundred yard pick six. So that was really like the first game that, you know, really introduced me to what you know, how dominant or how, you know, successful I could be in college football because prior to that I, I didn't have any interceptions or any, you know, big high tackle games. So that was like the first one where I really, you know, stepped onto the stage. When did it hit you that you had a that you that you had a chance to to make it to the pro level? Uh, you know, being at Villanova, you you've seen guys make it to the league. Some of your former teammates are are playing in the NFL right now. But Rob, for you, when did it hit you that uh, you know you, you had a legit chance a, a legit chance at uh, furthering your uh, playing career at, at the next level and to make it your full time job? 
Right. Um, yeah, honestly, I mean, it was always like a dream or, you know, a place, something I aspired to do, but it wasn't something that, you know, I really saw in fruition and something I saw really being really being something that could happen until, you know, well after 2016 season was over and I was just kind of recapping the season. And then, you know, once we threw the highlight tip together and it was getting like such good feedback and then, you know, that's when, um, you know, agents and stuff started to reach out to me. And, you know, once you start to get that feedback from guys who, not not only the guys who, you know, because I played with, you know, Tano, Passanio, who was a DN, and he went to the Chiefs mm-hmm. in the second round. And, you know, my linebacker, Austin Calitro, he, he's playing for the Seahawks now, linebacker. Um, so just seeing those guys who I played with in 2016, which is, you know, my big year, and seeing those guys go and do great things, I think that was like the first time when I was like recapping that whole season where I started to really realize that, you know, if I have another solid season and, you know, I finish strong, then, you know, possibilities are endless. So, you know, that was just like the first time in which I really, really thought about, you know, actually going to the, you know, going to the NFL. But at the same time, I still made sure I like, um, I took, I took school very, very serious. So I never, I guess, allowed myself to really not believe, but not really, you know, just put all my, my, my fruit in one basket. I wasn't like banking on that, but I always, you know, that was something I always, dreamed of and then you know after that 2016 season that was like the first time um, where people started to give me feedback and tell me I had a legit shot to you know play play at the next level you know I think uh the, the last time we chatted Rob was uh around the, the the time of the year I want to say March maybe early April it was around the time of the year where the uh, Villanova basketball team was making their run um right. obviously a lot of excitement um, does that add, seeing the success that the Villanova basketball team has had over the years, does that add any fuel to the fire for you guys as a football team? Does that give you guys any added motivation, uh, knowing that, hey, you know what, if we work hard enough at it, if we, uh, you know, do the things that we need to do, that, that you know, uh, a championship could be brought here on the football side of things at Villanova as well? Uh, yeah, because, you know, we're, we're all really close, especially, you know, all athletes in general, but, you know, the basketball team and football team, we're really close, you know, those guys are close friends. So it's not like, you know, you look at an, an Alabama or a team like that and you think that these guys are, the, you know, these superstars and these freak athletes, you know, they're regular people and, you know, they come in and they punch the clock and they put their work in just like you. You know, they have class with us. We eat together, you know, all regular things. And you see them go out and, you know, they play team basketball and, you know, they dominate and they, they're successful. But at the end of the day, you know that, you know, they come in and they, they put the same work in as you do. So there's no reason why you can't get the same results as them. So it, it does. I, w- I would be lying if I said it doesn't you know, add that motivation um, and definitely gives us, you know, that, you know, they're, they're right on the other side of the street, you know, and they're, they're, they're doing great things. So why can't we do the same thing and we buy in and, and put the work in as well? Again, he's Rob Roll, the free safety out of Villanova 2019 NFL draft prospect. You're on air with Chris Shanafel. And Rob, since your season has ended, since your collegiate career uh, there at Villanova has ended, uh, what has your schedule consisted of? Uh, uh, you know, obviously you got a pro day coming up uh, within the next couple of months. Are, are you are you training for that? Um, again, what's your schedule consisted of since the end of the season? Uh, yeah, I had a, a couple of weeks at home with my family, you know, to kind of wrap up the, the year, Christmas and, you know, New Year's. That was a good time to finish up my college career. I finished up, you know, my first semester of grad school, so that was big. And okay. then, you know, just once I had that, those couple of weeks at home with my family, um, right after New Year's, I went down to the College Gridiron Showcase in Frisco, Texas. Um, I mean, in Fort Worth, Texas. So I was down there for five or so days, you know, got to showcase what I could do in front of, you know, all NFL, all 32 NFL teams and really compete with guys from all over the country. You know, that was a very um, fun and competitive environment in which I went down there and just tried to, you know, do everything I could. I got reps at corner, you know, played nickel in the slot and got some reps at free safety as well. So just, you know, trying to show my versatility on the field and just try to, you know, do everything I possibly could to, you know, propel myself to the next level. And then um, as soon as I got back, I came up here to test facilities, test football academies up here in North Jersey, in which I'll be doing all my combine um, and pro day prep preparatory for for all that stuff. I'm here with Kevin Dunn and his staff. And, you know, this I'm halfway through my first week up here. You know, I'm super excited to get to put the work in up here. You know, it's been really good so far. Um, it's a very competitive environment up here too, but we all push each other and, you know, we all want the best for each other. So I think this is, you know, the next level and, you know, the next step I'm going to have to take to, you know, put myself where I want to be. So uh, I'll be up here at Chester facility in North Jersey, just, you know, putting that work in and, you know, trusting that Kevin and his, and his staff can, you know, get me right. Well, you're certainly working with the right people. That's for sure. Um, yes. Familiar with test football, uh, Rick Saratella, uh, NFL draft Bible, NFL draft guy. I'm sure you'll be running into him uh, quite a few times throughout the next couple of months. Uh, 
great people over there, and of course they 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 get the results as well. Um, talking pro day, Rob. I, I'm not sure if you know exactly uh, what pro day you're going to be participating in. Maybe you'll try getting into a bigger schools. Maybe you'll have yours at uh, Villanova. But uh, any goals for your pro day? Do you have any numbers uh, written down or, or in the back of your head that that you'd like to that you'd like to hit? Um, not really, not really, because I haven't really put up any. I don't even have any, you know, benchmark numbers to go off of from where I used to be. You know, I haven't really had even any mock combine or or, or pro day numbers since maybe 2015. You know, before any of the ACL surgery and all that stuff. So right now, I'm just trying to, you know, put some weight on. You know, show that I can, you know, hold hold some more weight to my frame, and then, you know, just show that I'm explosive. So right now, I'm working with, you know, with Kevin and the staff up here at Test. You know, we're doing. Right now, it's all the fundamental things. and I'm just trying to, you know, emphasize those things and show that, you know, after I put this work in, I'll be, you know, more complete athlete because, um, like I said, I'm very grateful for my time at Villanova, but um, I think we, we focus more so on scheme, and, and I learned a lot mentally in the game, but I still feel very raw as an athlete, and I think now is the time for me to hone in and, you know, get, get very technical with my craft, so... Um, I, you know, I have all the confidence in the world up here. You know, these guys really know what they're doing. They're super smart and efficient with their training load. So um, I'm just trying to, you know, go out there and show that, you know, I could be technical with my, with my fundamentals and, you know, my, my drills and my mechanics and stuff, body mechanics. Those things are going to be, you know, crisp and tight after I put this work in up here and just show that I could be the complete athlete, you know, and not just be the raw, you know, long, lanky, athletic kid that can go out there and make plays. But, you know, I'll be sound in, in everything I do in, in terms of drills and, you know, all the fundamentals. A few more questions with Rob Roll, the defensive back out of Villanova, 2019 NFL draft prospect. Um, Rob, the ACL injury, I mean, has that kind of changed the way you think about the game of football at all, or, or does that kind of make you appreciate uh, being on the field uh, when you are? Yeah, it, um, I, don't, I wouldn't say it changed my perception of football, but I, like I said, I think it just made me appreciate the game so much more. Um, you know, being a captain, you know, before this, the surgery, it was easy for me to kind of, you know, preach certain certain things to my team, certain philosophies to my team without actually, like, really having to, you know, address those things and, and reflect those things onto myself because, like I said, certain things in football started, it became so easy for me, you know, and I didn't really have any super hardships in terms of injuries or, or setbacks or anything. You know, everything was just kind of, you know, regular, nothing too spectacular. But then, you know, with the injury, it just made me appreciate and, you know, self-reflect a lot more and, and really, you know, I had to dig deep. And I think it, it made me a lot more mature as a man. You know, it taught me a lot of things like, you know, patience and stuff in terms of the recovery process and just making sure my body gets back to where, where it needs to be if I want to give myself a shot. So it just made me, you know, appreciate the little things that which, you know, I probably before didn't really talk about or things that I probably took for granted. But it just made me, you know, want to dig deeper and, and, you know, find that love for the sport. And, you know, it made me realize why why I wanted to play and why, why I first, you know, strapped up my helmet and put on those cleats. You know, it brought me back to the basics and just, you know, made me fall in love with the game all over again. So, you know, like I said, that first game at Temple and the rest of the season, I was just excited to be out there running around. You know, that, that, that was worth it to me. You know, I didn't have any goals or anything in mind. Just I was just happy to be out there. You mentioned you uh, participated in the College Gridiron Showcase uh, the other week down in uh, Texas. Um, were you able to meet with any NFL scouts? Uh, you, you mentioned how you were kind of moving around, uh, playing uh, nickel, playing corner. Um, were you able to chat with any NFL scouts? And if so, what are they saying about uh, Rob Roll and what he brings to the table? Yeah, yeah. After after each practice, you know, we sit in a room and you know they give an opportunity for each team to interview any players in which they were interested in. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of I mean, I'm pretty sure all 32 um, teams had scouts come to see us practice all throughout the year. So it wasn't my first time seeing a few of the faces and a couple of the regional scouts. But while I was down there, you know, I still spoke with, you know, 10 or so NFL teams who were, you know, who liked what they saw out there practicing. You know, for the most part, I mean, a lot of those questions and stuff that they're asking are, are more character-based. You know, they, they, they do their research and they're very good at analyzing the film. So they already have, you know, a good idea of the, what kind of player you are. So I think those interviews are more so character-based. Um, but, we you know, they, they say the same things. You know, a lot of people like, you know, the length of my arms and, you know, the range and the athletic ability that I show. But at the same time, you know, they make sure to let you know that there's a couple of things that you need to clean up fundamentally. You know, there's, you know, there's a certain, certain type of, certain instances in which, you know, they want to see you do this or do that. So, 
you know, the feedback is always greatly appreciated, but, you know, it's the same stuff um, pretty much across the board. Just, you know, they like they like all the stuff that they see on film and they just want to make sure, you know, they check all boxes and, and make sure they're not going to have any off-the-field issues and stuff like that, which, you know, I'll be sure to make sure that that never occurs with me. You know, Rob, I uh, was watching some of your films, some of your highlights uh, as I was preparing for this interview just to kind of refresh my memory. Um, and, and I don't know, maybe it's because I, I'm here in the city of Chicago Maybe not, but when watching your game, I, I, I just kept thinking to myself, Eddie Jackson, um, with a lot of the, the plays that, that you were making on film, um, who are a couple of guys that you like to watch and maybe take bits and pieces of their game and add it onto your own? Um, I think Tyran, Tyran Matthew is definitely like someone, you know, whose highlight tape I've been watching mm-hmm. since I was in high school, you know, every week, you know, because I think we're very relatable in terms that, you know, I say this, you know, a lot of times when people ask me, but, you know, Tyreen's not the biggest, strongest, or fastest safety on the field, but his impact is always felt. You know, he's always around the ball, and he's always making those plays that change the game. So, you know, I, I take pride in, you know, putting myself in the film room and making sure that I put myself in the best position to make those plays. So I might not be the fastest, strongest, or, you know, most fundamentally uh, technical person, but I'm also going to, you know, work my work my butt off every time I come in and punch the clock and, you know, bring a positive attitude to the work to the workplace every day. But I'm also going to, you know, have that individual film study that's going to put me in, in the position to make those plays. Or, you know, if if my game lacks, you know, certain certain skills or certain things that you know would make a would make another player better than me, I make sure to to make up for that. You know, in certain in certain other areas. So, just trying to find ways. You know, how people, you know, bait the quarterback or or, or you know, just pick up on things that people do well. That you know, poking at the ball or you know. Things like that, just things that, you know, go out there and change the game. So whether, you know, he's the smallest, fastest, or strongest, whatever it may be, but he's going to be around the ball changing the game. And final question before I let you go. Uh, Let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers that are tuned in, listening to this very interview. Why should they want the safety, the defensive back out of Villanova, Rob Roll, a part of their team? Because they know they're going to get a guy who's going to come in, you know, bring the best out of not only himself, but, you know, everyone around him. Um, they're going to be a guy who never had any off the field issues. And, you know, I pride myself in never having to worry about anything like that. And, you know, just being someone who, who was positive and, you know, I'm going to put the work in and I'm going to do, you know, the best of my ability to make sure I'm the, the most complete, well-rounded player, you know, that I could bring to whatever organization, you know, sees me fit in, you know. So that's just, you know, the confidence and, and self, uh, self-reassurance that I've given myself to know that, um, it doesn't matter what team brings me in. It doesn't matter if only one team likes what they see. You know, all I need is that one shot. And, you know, when, when I do take that shot, I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah, absolutely. We, we see it every year. We see players make the most of, uh, you know, tryout opportunities or, or if they're signed to, as an undrafted free agent or a sixth, seventh round pick. Uh, we see it every year with uh, many different organizations. And, um, Rob, really do appreciate you taking some time this evening. Uh, really enjoyed uh, our uh, couple of uh, of conversations that we've had over the past year. Um, and just wishing you all the best, man. Uh, it's It's been a lot of fun uh, watching how your career has played out, watching you come back from your ACL injury, and now as you prepare for the 2019 NFL Draft. Um, can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate your time as well.